All right, guys, today is week 47. Bought these two little red tail catfish 47 weeks ago. Been taking videos every week, posting them on YouTube so you can see how fast they grow. And look at how big they are. <laughs> They're huge. And the potential size of red tail catfish, they can get five feet long. So even though they're a lot bigger than they used to be, they still have a lot of potential to get really big. All right, so we're going to start out with some hand feeding. And luckily, they haven't outgrown the hot tub yet. This is like a 400 gallon hot tub. I don't know. I was thinking they would be bigger than that already by now <laughs> i thought they would be outgrown this hot tub by now luckily they're still pretty good as far as the size in the hot tub eventually i'm gonna have to definitely move them to something else there's no way they can grow up in that thing the other interesting thing too is i was looking back at some of the prices on the equipment that uh like for example that pond filter and you know, here in uh, early 2023, uh, everything's, the inflation's going crazy. And I thought for sure that pond filter would be way more expensive. And I actually paid like $150 for that thing. And I checked over on Amazon, it's down to 106, which is pretty awesome. I might get one just because, um, just to have a backup in case that one fails. But you know what, I'll actually leave a link below this video. And you can go down there and, and click on it and see if it's changed. If it's changed significantly, maybe you can leave a, a comment as far as how much it is. And when you look at it, you know, it changes over the years. Sometimes it really increases. Sometimes it really decreases. It's pretty wild. It's come down 40 bucks. I can't believe that. I feel like I get ripped off. I feel like I paid too much back in, of course, that was in 20, early 2022. You know, had a lot of crazy stuff going on then. And the pandemic was in the full swing and prices were sky high. Now it seems like the, the pandemic prices have come down. It's more like just a slow, gradual inflation. I actually gave that fish a little bit more because he hardly ever gets as much as this guy. And they're starting to become a, like a pretty significant difference <laughs> between the size of the catfish. Because one of them seems more bold and he comes up to do hand feeding a lot more. This guy right here, he is bold. I need to feed this guy a little bit more. He's getting a belly already. <laughs> All right, so maybe I ought to switch to the other one now. I should keep, I guess I should keep an eye on the size of their belly as far as who gets how much. You kind of really don't pay attention until one starts getting a lot bigger than the other one this guy needs a little bit more needs a bigger belly it's interesting the water's really clear today super clear and it's the middle of the day it's, <laughs> we got a snowstorm outside it's like the, the the break in the snowstorm so usually i feed these guys later at night and they're pretty active for the middle of the day usually they come out more at night and it looks like maybe I fed them enough. <laughs> I think I hit the bottom. They're like, ugh. It's funny, they, they, they'll eat and eat and eat, and then once, when they are digesting, they just kind of sit there. They kind of mm -hmm. remain motionless and sit there and digest. Which is interesting. So, 47 weeks. I thought for sure they would be bigger. Everything I read online, it seemed like, you know, people were saying they were like, you know, three feet long by a year. So, uh, 47, so 48, 49, 50, 51, five more weeks and it'll be a year, which is crazy. I thought for sure they'd be bigger. Of course, I'm not really power feeding them like a lot of people do. All right, so I've been feeding, uh, tilapia cod and mahi mahi and it just got a little bit left here so looks like it was a good amount of food for today been feeding every other day all right so i'm going to finish up with some underwater video